Hey guys, welcome back to another DIY. I picked up this little fake succulent plant just because I'm going to be using the pot that it came in. I like the design of the faux cement, if you will. You can maybe even pick up something like this without the succulent at like the Dollar Tree or maybe Target or Walmart, something like that. Uh, around springtime is probably going to be your best bet. I'm just going and removing all of the innards and there is a tiny patch of like cemented rock down at the bottom that I'm just leaving alone untouched. I'm not going to be using that anyway so I just chose to keep it in the bottom of the pot. I'm taking some painters tape and wrapping that around the top rim of it just because I'm going to be painting the bottom in a matte acrylic black paint just because I like the way that matte black and cement go really well together. They kind of make an elegant sort of feel and it's just a fast, easy, cheap way to spice up a little DIY project. So I'm taking the matte black acrylic paint on an old brush and just slushing that all around the bottom. It takes about two minutes to dry. It's a really fast and easy project. And if you want, you can choose to add like gold, silver, you know, whatever color have you. And then after that dries, obviously go ahead, remove the tape and you have a pretty straight line. I chose to do something else with the top that didn't really work out. So with a very steady hand, I'm freestyling a line just to complete the rim of the design that I wanted, which is that black. Once you are done with that, we are going to be starting the insides. I'm taking some modeling clay. This is air dry modeling clay, and I'm just taking a wad of it and like smashing it down in the bottom. This is going to give the incense stick something to pretty much like hold on to and stick up straight, especially when it's burning. Now I did go back and add a little dish that I had laying around on my nightstand underneath of this pot because it wasn't big enough. I noticed that the first time that I used it, some of the ash was falling just outside of this container. So if you want, go ahead and get a bigger pot. But I wanted to do something like this just because it's nice and cozy and tiny and I don't know, I had the idea and really just wanted to go with it. So here I'm just sticking in an incense stick and I'm topping the entire thing off with a holographic glitter. This is optional, you can choose sand, you can choose gems, you can choose rocks. I might go back and stick some of my meditation rocks in it. I'm not sure yet. I do have a pile of sand sitting somewhere in a box too, but you know, we will see. Maybe, maybe that'll be for another project. So once you're done with this, you're pretty much good to go and you can start using your incense. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave those in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more DIY videos. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to smash that like button in the face. And of course, I will see you guys in the next video.